Hey, hello everyone, I'm Only One Gamer. Welcome back to the Terraria Let's Play. I hope you all are doing great today. And yes, we have only one slime here, of course. He, he's back, and uh, he's probably here to stay, so for quite some time. Now, we got some cool stuff to do in this part, some cool stuff to craft, and I'm quite excited myself because it's an item that I'm not too well informed on, and I kind of want to test it out and see what it's like. And by the title, you probably already know it's the flamethrower. And, uh, yeah, this would be cool, but while it's dark, we do need to take advantage of this, and, uh, yes, the wizard's almost dead. You know how he is, always trying to kill himself. Every wizard around here does, I don't know why, but here we are at the shop, and we're gonna buy illegal gun parts. Um, reason being, yes, yes, you need this for the fun, correct, yes, you are correct. Now, go ahead and put, uh, actually, no, I don't have no go left over. Um, okay, well, that is something indeed. I don't need this pixie dust, no thank you, but yeah, we have illegal gun parts now. And that's gonna, you know, play a big role in crafting flamethrower. Now, before I go ahead and craft this, I want to show you guys some of the cool stuff we can make with the Souls of Bright. Now, okay, let me see here. Go ahead and show the recipe. Uh, yes, we can make ham drags. Now, I really want to make ham drags, but right now it's not a make it, sir, because I can do the glitch and get it for free. But at the same time, I don't want to perform a glitch and, you know, kind of do that. But it would be best. But then again, we might not even have to perform a glitch. We might be able to make the ham drags in this part. As I'm now observing, we might be able to make the ham tracks in this part as well. If I have some leftover souls of the Destroyer and the Twins. Oh my god, if this if this is the case, we're going to get a ham tracks and a flamethrower. But let's not get our hopes up too high, because I'm not sure yet. Okay. No, no, go over. And we can make this legendary weapon here. Um, it's really powerful, and it's amazing. I would like to have it, but there's the flamethrower, which we are probably going to craft. I got to get the cursed flames. I forgot about that. But we can also make hollowed greaves, uh, which I should probably, since I do want to eventually get hollowed armor, I should probably go ahead and craft these because hollow, like, I will have to fight the, I will have to fight Skeletron Prime again. I'm not really feeling that too much, but in the previous part, I was a little confused because, yeah, these are some console spectral is console only. I do believe, which I'm not too, I'm, I think it's for like a mage, but you know, my character's not really a mage, but yeah, I was a little confused with hollowed griefs in the previous part, I, well, not hollowed griefs, but hollowed armor in general, because I, I did not know on the console version you didn't receive hollowed bars, um, in the console version you just get the souls of every hard mode boss, and then you uh, um, acquire all the other bits of armor, combine it, and then it makes the armor i did not know that i thought you had to get hollowed bars and i thought i kind of got cheated in the fight with skeletron prime and i was disappointed i was like i got cheated and i'm not too happy about that but no i did not get cheated i did feel like i should have received a little bit more gold for killing skeletron prime in the last part but and uh, what are you gonna do right um okay what is this cop oh copper i think that might be better than hollowed and dragon yes did did i mention dragon armor which we will obtain after obtaining hollowed armor now I'm kind of not sure, like, we are at the brink of this let's play, okay? When I say that, I mean, there's only one boss left. So, we can kind of take our time now and go craft all the other armor and do all this other cool stuff. And I think it'll be a cool journey uh, to craft all the armor, such as hollowed armor and dragon armor. And, what am I doing? Um, why can't I make the flamethrower? Mm, yes, what is the meaning of this? What am I missing? What am I missing? I am missing something and I don't know what. What is this? Hmm. I must I must find out what this is and why I cannot craft the flamethrower. I'm not happy right now. Okay. Uh, wait a second. What? What is this? Okay, whoa. Um. Oh, I need 35 cursed flames. Okay, I was a little confused at first. I was like, what am I not going to get to craft the flamethrower after, you know, I was looking so forward to crafting the flamethrower. Now, the bad thing about the flamethrower, yes, is there is a downfall to the wonderful, um, overpowered flamethrower. Um, that is the fact that it takes a lot of gel. Like, it basically just consumes gel like crazy. And to resolve this problem, you have to make a, um, slime farm. How do you make a slime farm? Well, you get a slime statue and you can keep on spawning slimes and, well, you're pretty much in the good there. Um, why is it still not on here? What is the meaning? I have everything. Why can't I craft this? I'm... No, I did not want to hockey that. Something's wrong. How am I overlooking this? You guys are probably like, wow, OMG, you should have been a little, a little bit more prepared. Um, you're kind of a dupe right now. Um, no. What am I missing? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a horrible thing indeed we have just found out. It's very horrible. I need 20 copper bars. 
I did not know that. Um, kind of disappointing because prior to this part, I had to get more iron. So, you know, I went on a long quest to finding iron so I could craft this. But I didn't even think about copper. For some reason, I thought I had plenty of copper. And, uh, you know, I would have. But I think in the past, I, like, always threw it away because I was like, huh, I'm never going to need this. What? No, get away from me. I don't have time for you. I'm looking for copper. Unless you lead me to copper, we cannot be friends. Um, let's see what I need. What can I put on my medallo pile? Not really. I guess we'll go just make it short. All right, so looking for copper. Um, now, I know since I I will probably overlook copper, and it's going to be right in front of me. I know in the previous, the very first parts of this Let's Play, like I'd be looking for an ore, and I would overlook it so much, and uh, you guys got so frustrated. But I do apologize for that. I uh, I only have two eyes, and you know I can't look everywhere at once. And if I could just find some copper, please. I pretty much mined all the copper around here, guys. Like it's it's kind of scary. Um, you would think copper would be like a, the number one resource in this game, since it's you know not that great. You think there would be plenty of it, but. It's kind of hard to find, and I'm trying to think in my mind where would be the best place to find this. And of course, you're gonna have annoying mobs slash enemies trying to destroy my face, and my face is too beautiful to be destroyed, so I cannot allow that. But um, let's see. Eh, no, no copper around here. Yep. Okay. Well, that is just bloody brilliant, as I would say. And don't think we're gonna have any luck around here. Um. So, uh, yeah, I. I'm not feeling too happy about this. If I could just find copper quickly, then uh, we could get a lot more done in this part because I have I had a lot planned for this part. So, um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna resume with you guys when I find copper, so it doesn't take up too much time. I usually don't do split cuts like this, but that's what's gonna happen this time. So thank you, and I will see you. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. All right. Well, what do you know? I was gonna do a split cut, basically where I just resume with you guys when I find copper, but looks like we found some. That's awesome, right down here, huh? I don't think that's gonna be enough though, considering I need 25. So yeah, probably still gonna wait a second. Oh my God, what is this? What is? <laughs> okay, I don't know what the meaning of all this is, but it's awesome, and I'm not complaining. I'm getting me copper, and that's good. Okay, wow, I was not expecting to find copper down this low, but you know, some very extraordinary oh, adamantite. What do you know? That's that's nice. I will say. Um, let's see. Um, lava down there. Probably gonna get killed if I'm not careful. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm really in the mood to explore because we haven't explored in quite some time. We've just been fighting bosses and doing stuff along that lines, uh, along them lines. So, you know, it's kind of like, uh, exploration sounded pretty good. But yeah, we still need to go back to the floating island and, uh, handle all that and more down there. It should be good. But, uh, copper. Oh, well, wow, life crystal. Don't need that. So I'll just leave that. Oh, wait a second. Have we found this? No, we have not. Have we found a golden chest we've never found before? What is the meaning of this? Um, there's a night owl potion. I'll put that in our collection here. Get rid of all this stuff we don't need. Okay. And what else we have that I feel like taking? Hmm. They are interesting, but we don't need them. I will take the torches. Can never go wrong. We take the torches, dynamite. Ah, oh, so let's just look an eye. Why not? That's maybe a, that might be a sign to fight the eye Cthulhu in this part. Like, honestly, I wanted to... I, I am still determined to craft the flamethrower. I am. And uh, we will get that done. Now, uh, the moment of truth. Do we have enough copper? Uh, let's hope. Here goes. Mm. Ah, just enough. Yes, very well. So that was a long quest for copper, but we have completed our objective, I will say, and that is quite nice. So let's make this flamethrower. I've been waiting. Is it? Why is it? Why is it still not? What am I missing now? Uh, for some reason, I lost a curse. What? Makes no sense. Okay, I was a little bit worried. Okay, can we make the flame? Yes, there it is, guys. The flamethrower. We have completed our objective and obtained it. There we are. Ah, yes. Okay. Keen flamethrower. Hmm. All right. 3% more chance on a critical strike. I like it. Yeah, yes, as you guys can see, it uses jail for ammo. So, yeah, this thing is amazing. And I think it can shoot through blocks as well. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Oh, wait. Kinda. Oh, man. This is awesome. Okay. Yep. Very awesome. Now I just need to make a jail farm so I can get plenty of jail. And you know what? I got to kill a boss with this. I got the eye. This was a sign. This was a sign. We get the suspicious looking eye and it's like, here, test it out. Why did I make cursed torches? 
Hmm. Well, that's a cool effect. They can be placed underwater, so there you have it. That's pretty cool. Spice up the water around here, I guess. Uh, get out of here. We don't like you. Come on, what corruptors? I hate, I hate the corruption, man. They're, it's just annoying. I will say. Okay. I always fight the Eye of Cthulhu here. I don't know why, but we get a little bit of daylight left. So, uh, what I was intentionally gonna do in this part, um, I was going to go to the dungeon and get a golden key from a dungeon slime or whatever, so we could uh, open the chest up in that uh, floating island because that will be pretty awesome. But we probably won't get to do that till the next part because, well, finding the flamethrower took a lot longer than I imagined. So what we'll probably do, kill the Eye of Cthulhu in this part um, with the flamethrower just to test it out. And then in the next part, we will probably um, get the golden key and open up that floating island and see what's in the chest there. Probably nothing too beneficial for us now, but it will still be cool to see what's in it and it you know, get to unlock another floating island since it's been so long since we found one. And I think there's only three in every um, large world, um, I think. I don't know. There's some limit like that. There's either two or three in every world or something. I don't know. If you guys know uh, a bit more on the floating islands and Terraria and the history of them, then please be sure to inform me. But, yeah, I'm currently just making my way over to the dungeon um, just in case. I don't know how much time we have left on this part, actually. Uh, we got a little bit more time, so I might be able to make it to the dungeon, but I won't get to explore, sadly. Um, if it would hurry up and get dark, we will fight the Eye of Cthulhu. I wish you could kind of just summon him during the day so we could own him, but, uh, you know, sadly you can't, so that's a problem. So I'll resume with you guys here in a second. Yes, I found a dungeon slime. Thank you. Okay, well, that worked out quite well. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I think I'm... Um, went over this uh, a while back. The dungeon slimes do, in fact, drop uh, golden keys. 100% uh, chance of them dropping golden keys, so that's pretty awesome. I finally found one in the dungeon there. I was just kind of waiting for one to spawn, and I got lucky, and one did, so there you have it. So, yeah, now we're just going to wait till nightfall so we can kill the Eye of Cthulhu with the flamethrower, and it's going to be pretty awesome, indeed. Okay, after a long wait for it to get dark, I think what I'm going to do is bring my clock over here since I do fight my bosses in this arena, so I can just keep on checking the clock so I know what desi designated time it gets dark, because I'm really unsure at this moment. But, are you guys ready for the finale of this part? Um, probably going to be the quickest death of the Eye of Cthulhu ever. Um, he's probably just going to get ultimately pwned here. Um, I feel sorry for him. Get out of here, Pixie. Go. Alright, where's the Eye of Cthulhu? There you are. Yes. Are you ready to die? Okay, well, I was expecting this to kill him a lot faster. Um, for some reason, this is this is not the best against bosses. Kind of surprising. But it is killing him at a decently fast rate. Now he's in his... Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I don't know what's the quickest time I've killed him, but this would be pretty quick, actually. So there you have it. The Eye yeah, of defeated. It's always nice raising your confidence by killing... I'm um, such a newbie boss like that, but we did get three gold from that, so not bad at all. And uh, some corrupt seasonal. Oh, thank you, Demon Eye Door. Um, I put that up in uh, storage for no reason. Um, lesser healing. Uh, probably sell them. But yeah, there you guys have it. Pretty fun, pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching this part. I hope you enjoyed, and be sure to hit that like button and share with anyone you know because the OMG Army continues to rise. And uh, yeah, you are all awesome. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys in the next part. OMG Army, unite.